watching Channel 20 TV. Be with Channel 20 and let us make things better together. Hello friends, how are you? Welcome back to the show Kids Snatch Factory episode 26. Now I'm going to read a poem which is named Wind on the Hill and the poet is named Alan Milne. Milne. Milne, I think. M-I-L-N-E. Milne. No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string on my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and night. And then when I found it, whenever it blew, I should know that the wind has been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes but where the wind comes from, nobody knows. Let's get started with our connection. In this picture, you might see a glowing red title. And if you can read Arabic, then you would know what it is. And if you can't, then I will tell you. In Arabic, it is written al naqil I can't talk because of the tongue twister. You'll see what I mean I, as soon as this our connection is over. It is written al naqil Mall. It is the mall where, uh, yeah, where we, I, I can't remember. Yes. Oh, yeah. In the speaking challenge, episode one and two, I mentioned al naqil Mall. Uh, episode one, I did. And on episode two, the beginning, uh, we were in Al Nakhil Mall, and then uh, wait, you know what? I'm not gonna spoil it for you because you have to check it out for you to know yourself. But all I'm going to say is, it took place in Al Nakhil Mall. Anyways, there seem to be many cars driving fast, so this must be a highway, I think. There are many type of cars. Some are big, some are small, some are black, some are white, some are other colors like bronze, silver, hex, etc. There are also many buildings which are connected to Al Nakhil Mall. So this must mean that they are Al Nakhil Mall's areas. And it seems to be that it is nighttime because it is so dark that they had to uh, turn on street lights. And that's about it. Now I'm going to read a tongue twister, which uh, I can't read fast. If when I try to read it fast, it feels like my tongue is literally numb. <laughs> that's how I feel. You'll get the point when I try it. Let's try it at a slow speed. <laughs> a skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk. But the stump thunk the skunk stunk. Now a little bit faster. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the skunk and just... <laughs> I already can't. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk. But the stunk thunk, the skunk stunk. Now uh, fast, <laughs> I can't. A skunk stunk the stunk and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk, the skunk stunk. What? Uh, okay. Now I'll try it a lot faster, but okay. First try. A skunk stunk the stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk with a. Yeah, here. This thing is literally breaking me. A skunk sound stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. Yeah, I'll try again. A skunk sound stump and stump. Nope. A skunk sound stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. I did it! I finally did it! I did it! Yes! <laughs> 
Now, after the very annoying tongue twister, let's begin with our fable, which is named the Eagle and the Jackdaw. The Jackdaw is basically like a crow. It is kind of like a crow. Yeah. Let's get started. Yep. An eagle swooping down on powerful wings seized a lamb in her talons and made off with it to her nest. A jackdaw saw the deed and his silly head was filled with the idea that he was big and strong enough to do as the eagle has done. So, with much rustling of feathers and a fierce air, he came down swiftly on the back of a large ram. But when he tried to rise again, he found that he could not get away, for his claws were tangled in his wool. And so far was he crying, tongue twisters, really ruined my tongue. And so far was he from carrying away with the ram, that the ram hardly noticed he was there. The shepherd saw the fluttering jackdaw and at once guessed what had happened. Running up, he caught the bird and clipped its wings. That evening, he gave the jackdaw to his children. What a funny bird this is, they said laughing. What do you call it, father? British boy, because uh, olden times people speak like that. I don't know. It's, it's an, it makes sense in my head. What do you call it, father? That is a jackdaw, my children. But if you should ask him, he would say he is an eagle. Do not let your vanity make you overestimate your powers. That's all for this episode. See you next episode. Till then, stay safe, listen to your parents, and always be happy. Bye.